Hi everyone, my name is Nombuyo Kamela from Cape Town, South Africa. Today is the 26th of June and we are still in level 3 lockdown. Today one, I want to share and what I was reflecting on is the level of domestic violence, the, 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 viol the level of violence against the women and children of this nation is really quite shocking. Just the, the three weeks after, at the beginning of lockdown alone, it's recorded that about 120,000 um, reports were made for domestic violence. It's really quite um, a, a certain, certain to, to hear this level of abuse against our own women. And this means that every three hours there is an incident either of murder or abuse against the women and children of South Africa. And today I have Dr. Faye Moloba. Thank you again for, for, for taking this call. Just just to give a background um why why i called you um as we are as you know that we are busy with the healing of the nation campaign praying and proclaiming um you know scriptures and prophecy and and and, and as, I, as i was reflecting on one of the prophecies concerning uh, south africa for um in the word particularly that was spoken by chuck pierce he mentioned a um, couple of things, you know, that we, you know, as we, as we, as we, um, as a nation that we are to be mindful of, which is the Antichrist actually spirit, um, which five, five things that the enemy does and you know to, to uh, um, that, that translates as a, as a, as a anti, um, uh, Christ spirit is, is an anti-Semitic spirit, uh, that hates Israel is hating the prophets of god oppressing women um and wiping out the first people so when i saw your invitation for talum uh, uh ta, 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 you know it spoke to the issue of women um of, uh, of violence and, and, and oppression and especially now um i mean it's not a enough thing because of it, it, it lockdown um and the, and the issues that are coming out it's something that's always been there and it it, it really uh, spoke into my heart because this is i mean you are a, you are not only a warrior you are a general <laughs> in the kingdom you've called yes. you've called so many um a uh, 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 battles you know you've taken so many and you've paid the price um and and really just want to honor you for that <laughs> first of all and and and, and 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 acknowledge that and 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 saying that when i, I wanted to to just talk to you about this prayer because really there is a call for women in this hour um because women can out can actually lead the nation out and align it to its prophetic destiny or it can lead it away so the issue of women and and them being healed arising being healed and especially starting with, with with us starting with believers it's very key it's very important so i wanted to hear your heart concerning um talita Kum, you know why you started it and 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 also speak about the, the prayer that is that is coming on the fourth of um June. Uh. No, no, I must just thank you very much um, for actually, um, I would say, for allowing and obeying God uh, to, to use you with the finger. You know, um, when I engaged into the prophetic ministry, it was quite something for me, for God to make me understand that in Kosa, Mm. So that really, uh, you know, ministered in my heart so much that uh, when something has been appointed, the finger of God has been appointed to me, it's very difficult to say no. Okay. And 
also um, uh, after my salvation, yeah. uh, I, I was things on my own, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I got to know in, in a in a very very tough manner hand uh, that there's nothing that I can fight for myself. Mm -hmm. it, it just, matter what prophetic spirit you think you have, but you need, so God killed the suspicious mind in me. Mm. I am unsuspecting of anything. I just leave everything to God. Mm. If I say to you, I, I, I usually hear people talking a lot about the descending spirit. Sometimes the descending spirit can be very deceiving. Mm. So, because God has hidden the heart of men. And therefore, we need to leave the hearts of men to him to judge. And he also warns us about judging. So that is to a, to a point whereby I listen to what somebody says and I say, it's you, Lord, let me come. If it's not you, deal with the spirit. I am not going to waste my time and deal with the spirit. Mm -hmm. and I've been running a, 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 a church, mm -hmm. thinking of ministry. Mm. When I say a church, it's because uh, a, a mind, a black mind, if you are called by God, you're going to do the word of God, then you must start a church, and then there you are, you're in the church, and then you're yeah. preaching. All that day, and you feel well. I had a healing service, prophetic healing service, and I am actually a combination of an apostle and a prophet all in one. And then I've got a strong arm of healing. Mm. And it was of love and hope ministries it's got its own history and it's got its, its own things and it's got its own years that it lived within that i was specializing in women and children ministry okay. um, in, in a very special way and but at the time i really didn't understand where god was taking me until such time that he emphasized actually i was nearly killed brutally sure. you know emphasized that um, must close the church when it th that spirit used to come i used to think it's from the devil and i would pray i would just ca cancel the spirit mm -hmm. oh, what am i going to do if i'm not in church and he said mm -hmm. you are and he first killed the situation whereby i mean killed the bishop thing to me you know bishop no you, said, you, are, you, are, an, you are not even an apostle you are an ambassador of the kingdom and i want you nations and I didn't understand the nations until um, it, it, it didn't understand the mind of God. Cutting the long story short of us forwarding, I uh, and then they registered an organization uh, and, and, and of warrior women of the kingdom, which was actually specifically focused on Nehemiah. God t took me through Nehemiah and through very painfully, very painfully, mm. and uh, in that. Uh, I, I must reconstruct the broken walls in people. Broken walls in people. What is broken walls in people? And and then I see that when, when, when people are walking uh, zombies and walking cops, and they took me through all of that. And then I even had specifically healing the wounded souls. Counseling the people is healing the wounded souls. Fast forward. And um, he took me into John 10, 10 a Actually, I thought John 10, 10 is just composed of um, uh, uh, the devil kills, steals, and destroys. Yeah. To find that, uh, yeah, there's verse B there that I don't actually concentrate on. Mm -hmm. That one, story for another day about, okay. about, verse, uh, about B. Right? And then I did the, in this warrior woman, I was doing character building mm. and and, and gender-based violence. Okay. So I went to character building and gender-based violence yes. because I've got a, a very a, a very a big love for children. Then he took me deeply into into children, children which is youth and 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 and, and children. Then I, I I started partnering with schools, those churches that would like to be with me, the SAPS, etc., etc. Mm. I was working with children very deeply then he he exposed the gender-based violence in his roots and it, and um you know to to witness no no yeah. children of nine to 12 years having been raped that cannot uh, have got you know a torn underneath they cannot be able to go to the loop themselves and they, these were um 
uh, raped by the dads, their own fathers. Mm. You have just mentioned that mm. uh, it is not only now during COVID, it's coming a long way. Yes, no, no, it's coming a long way. It's coming from, from Tamaras, you know, mm. you know, and mm. it's, it's coming and the spirit never actually mm. completely lived. Mm. Uh, but having said that, then it, it came to a point where now God said to me, Talita Kumi, you are actually presenting to the people the Jesus Christ that can only say, little girl, I say to you, arise. Because yeah. that, that has been uh, uh, violated, uh, he's humiliated. So he loses everything and yeah, the dignity. Yeah. He, is, he is like dead, mm. you know. He, in the battle, he loses the dignity, he loses mm. the selfish, he loses trust, yeah. he, he, he loses belief, he can't believe. Because mm. this thing is very demonic. You, you, you understand yeah. what I mean? It's yeah. highly, highly demonic. And, um, and, 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 well, now during and now this rape now or the domestic violence comes with strong, a strong uh, wing, uh, no, 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 a strong storm of mm -hmm. femicide. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, human, human trafficking is part of that. Sure. But now, see where where those people end, and now God is bringing it to our face that the, yes. these people that are violated, they are being killed. Sure. And, um, and and God brought the word, Habakkuk 1. Mm. Yo, 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 it looked at me. Can I, I'm just going to quickly read Habakkuk 1. Oh. Habakkuk 1, um, 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 let, let me take verse 3 quickly. I'm trying to, okay. How long, Lord, must I call for help, but yes. you do not listen? And, or cry out to you. Mm. Violence is how I cry out. But you do not save. Why do you make me look at injustice, why tolerate tolerate wrongdoing, mm -hmm. destruction, and violence? You know, and before me there is strife and conflict abounds. Therefore, the law is paralyzed. This is what exactly is, what is happening. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's paralyzed, and justice never prevails. The wicked mm -hmm. have in the righteous, so the justice is, is perverted. And the Lord answered, look at the nations and watch and be, and be utterly amazed. Mm -hmm. For I am going to do something in your days that you believe. Even if you were told, mm -hmm. I am raising up the Babylonians, that, uh, uh, that ruthless and impetuous people who sweep across the whole earth to seize dwellings not their, not their own. They are feared, dreaded people. So he goes on with the horses and leopards and all that. Yeah. And it's exactly happening right now people are always marching and doing and just demonstrating uh, holds and holds of people have been marching but what has actually happened okay. does the justice really, uh, 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 prevail you know yeah does it does it do, do, does the law uh, uh, yeah. prevail yeah. i watched now, i watched now during this uh, COVID, and my heart was so sore mm -hmm. um and I think, no, man, we've got to cry to the Lord because there's nothing helping. Mm. And then God came, Isaiah 33, mm. you know, from verse 12, 12, but specifically on the GNT Bible that is actually talking to the whole thing. And we are crying to the Lord and say, Lord, have mercy on us. Mm. We understand that we have sinned. Father, mm. everything is so twisted. I, I think we are more than, than Sodom and Gomorrah. You see people with long nails. You see people who are not satisfied to be themselves. They yeah. are they, they find the lashes that you have given them. They understand, you know, everything is just so heavy. And Lord, have mercy on us. You know, there's a lot of looting. There's a lot of sure. time. There's, there's, well, really, there's always hope. There's always hope when we when we go back to to our Creator, when we go back to God, when we go back to Yahweh, our Father, to seek Him, to seek His mercy, because only Him can be able to to save us and to deliver our men and deliver our women and children from this 
from this horrible, um, really horrible state.